<laughs> okay, I was given a demo key for Shadows of Kepler. Kepler. Let's see what happens. Gonna be really loud, no doubt. Demo doesn't represent the final quality of the game. It may contain some minor bugs. It also hasn't appeared on the screen. There we go. Anyway, let's have a look. Uh, options video Ultra V Sync. Oh full screen off have we got a window or just borderless window amazing it doesn't matter whether you've got full screen or not it doesn't capture the cursor so I'll have to lock the cursor to the screen new game easy Cooper I'd got insane. <sighs> My name is Cooper. This is a message for all the human survivors. <coughs> Not even in my worst nightmares. I could predict something so horrible and terrifying. As this animation. <sighs> if I could change. But now, everyone is. Don't want to skip the cutscenes. weird selective focus thing going on. You know what this reminds me of? Like a proper 90s game cutscene? Where it would just be all like big polygons. Volume! But thought we were just going to be unconscious then forever. Okay, your classic subnautica opening. <sighs> Ah, that was a nice sleep. Oh, a oh, fucking headache. Shit, what the fuck is going on? My hands. Something's wrong. They're really fat. And there's the camera snap. Whoa! And my head. Clearly, my. Oh. This is not. Fucking hell. Sorry? The fabric of reality just fucking changed. Oh god, I can't alter the mouse 
speed. Literally, a centimeter is a full rotation. Right. There's that weird satellite for volume. That's still way too high. How's that? That's better. And all my mouse's DPI settings. Nope, doesn't want to do it. Okay. We're just gonna... What? Is that supposed to be a... You know, a guidance arrow thing? Or just some insane... See if it happens again. Coincides with whatever that sound is, but... Whoa. I can't open this. What? Want to open it? To be fair, that's probably the best ending we could have had. With the whole spinny around head thing and everything. <sighs> oh god, please don't tell me we have to go through the looking at the hands again. Why would it let you open it? It's like world shitty space station. You know, ones where you can like open the windows. Oh, fucking headache. Please. Oh god, Shit. escape doesn't even. What the fuck is going on? My hands. Something's wrong. Huh. We we'll just do it again. Oh, see, if I'd have looked through the fucking. <gasps> There's that weird thing again. But that time it went through the wall. <coughs> Alright, let's not go through that one then. Can I pick this up? No. I thought it was just going to kill me, actually, by stepping in the electrified water. It's okay. Can't see shit. Need a flashlight. What? You also can't crouch under something that's clearly above you. Whoa. Ah. Uh, you can only pick a flashlight up backwards so you can hold it like that. You can't pick it up like that because then you would hold it forwards. And that's less cool. Yeah, because now I can randomly flail a tiny flashlight at things. Pass under. I'm just crouch. Ah oh yes, obligatory man in door. Hang on a minute. If those doors <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, holy crap! Strong bed in space. Um, so if those doors were like a fucking supermarket door, just like, oh, there's something there, better reopen. Oh, how's it killed him? Literally, I mean, how's it cut his fucking legs off when his legs weren't even in the door? 
Um, sorry. Get item. Just to show how small that is, there's my mouse cursor. That is the standard size Windows mouse cursor as well. Okay. Oh, items. Got the old items. EVA offline. EVA offline, maybe. Searching point. BPM, super oxy. So oxygen might come into play, or it might just be environmental. So we, we now can't go through the incredibly dead rising one font issue. Do they have font issue? Do they have text? Dead Rising 1? I thought Dead Rising 1 was purely get a Lego head on and shoot shit. What I don't get is why whenever you go up to a door you suddenly become a foot shorter. Subtitles under this dialogue. Ah, right, okay. Okay, so we can't go that way. Probably can't go that way. Some kind of juice. <coughs> Stick a screwdriver in it. Mag scan reversed because they didn't think about textures on both sides. I don't get what this bull bull thing is, other than fucking annoying. Is it a graphical glitch? Is it supposed to be something to do with what's going on? So clearly, if I walk in there, I'm just going to die. don't get any option to do anything uh. there. Uh. I don't know if the screwdriver is a weapon or a tool. Someone's talking to themselves. Right, I can't go back up the ladder. Hang on. The ladder now goes to space. Not inside the ship, just straight to space. So it loads that freeze as it loading a new area. Right, I literally don't know what to do. This doesn't work. And I'm just gonna have to walk through the electricity. Which will kill me. Oh, for fuck's sake, every time. My hands. They're still fucking useless. Please, just let me. The whole point of a demo is... It's got nothing Shit. to do with horror games. The what genre the is, is going on? irrelevant. It's the fact that people think that they can make games when they fucking can't. My hands. 
They've been given all wrong. these tools available to make stuff, and that's part of the problem. People that create their own engines and stuff are people that can make games. Right. Right, hang on. I can't open this. Want to open it. So then it will let me, and then I will die. I think I might do something with this spatula in a minute. Or maybe these cutters. To save me from the hands. Oh, oh that fucking headache. Yeah, fucking headache. Floaty dead guy. Shit. Hands and what shit. What the fuck is going hands on? Hands covered in shit. Right, so we know what we need to do. We need to. My hands. Something's wrong. Right, go. Attention, all tripulants must evacuate now. Repeating, this is not a drill. View the constant energy loss. Amos is in a critical 90% line that will be shut down. No, hang on. If you say repeating, you have to repeat the whole message. Oh, right. So, that's what I was supposed to turn off before I climbed down the ladder and got trapped and couldn't climb back up. Right, get it. I think I see a bit of a QA problem with your fucking game. Oh, crap. Oh, I mean... Get item. Name, I didn't even realise this last time. Screwdriver with you needed. So, is this going to kill me as well? No, because he used the screwdriver. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fuck. Press shift to sprint. I will when you unlock the fucking mouse. Oh. This door's randomly open. I'm stuck again. Happy cutscenes trigger at the point somebody hits a trigger, not when it reaches the time of the music, because I was faster than it. Well, yeah, obviously, can't you tell? It looks just fucking like you. What? What? Oh, yeah. Really? 
You know when you release a demo? It's supposed to, like, make people want to buy your game. So if we go down here again... We're going to get stuck. Right, let's not go down. So monsters are one hit death. You can't actually fight them. So the combat mechanic is pointless. Sound box. And now I keep my shotgun in a vacuum cabinet. Welcome, Sergeant Cooper. Welcome, That's Commander Shepard. Really? Houston, we have a podcast. Welcome to the official podcast of the NASA Johnson Space Center, episode 27, The Search for Life. I'm Gary Jordan, and I'll be your host today. So this is the podcast where we bring So they've got a native English speaker to narrate a podcast but they couldn't get someone to proofread the text. We're talking with Aaron Burton and Mark Fries. Aaron and Mark are both planetary scientists here at the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Oh god, it doesn't stop. about the different NASA initiatives all looking at organic material in the solar system. And what we're finding from these studies that help us understand the fundamentals of life here on Earth and possibly in the universe. So with no further delay, let's go light speed and jump right ahead to our talk with Dr. Aaron Burton and Dr. Mark Fries. Enjoy. Well, All right, well, so I'm uh, reading let's, that. let's start off with just a little bit about you guys. And um, since you're both planetary scientists, kind of what your focus is on. OK. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I have uh, built a research lab where we look for organic molecules that we find in meteorites. Mm -hmm. Um, so these are uh, carbon-containing molecules, um, and I'm interested in the ones that uh, are related to biology. Um, so things that biology could use. And so by looking at the organic molecules <coughs> that are found in meteorites, it gives us a way to look at samples um, where... How do we stop this podcast? Made, um, but they weren't made by life. They were just made by sort of abiotic chemistry. It's fair to say, you know, carbon is essential. Now it's my turn. Essential laser mode activated. Right? As far as we know, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, there's a, b a bunch of other things, you know. All right, so laser shot gun. I don't know if you guys actually discuss oh. silicon-based life forms or anything like that. Or, uh, yeah, I, mostly I was... carbon. Carbon's usually the... All right, are we allowed to shoot something now? Basic. Oh no. Oh, this is getting ugly. This guy's been to like the fucking Christopher Lambert school of voice acting. Got some bits stuck in the wall. You're getting the only one. Hello. You, at least you can't walk through the door. Whoa. Did that body just sit up and then drop again? Yeah. <laughs> Stuff's fucking popping out. Whoa. Really? It's unloading assets that are within fucking 12 feet of me. Whoa. I like this guy. Up. Oh. This is great. Oh, let me guess. It's locked. We've gotta find a way to go through. The red fucking light didn't give you a clue. See, what's funny is if I go back here. And look at this guy and then turn around. Mm. Oh, it's not showing me it now. If I can just get that hologram to disappear again. 
Oh, it's not doing it now, it's loaded it in. Uh, you can see there was a fucking monster through there. Yeah, this is the problem with giving people an engine to play with. It's... What? What? Fire mode? Do I have a light? Well, I did have a light, but I'm not allowed to use it. Oh god, it, I mean, it doesn't even work! The light doesn't reflect off glass! What was... oh god, what was it? Doom 3! Duct tape mod! So you could actually attach a fucking light to your gun. Uh, it <sighs> right. So we can't get in there because it's locked. This one? Nope. <sighs> nope. Do we have to go down the ladder and get stuck again? Nope. It's locked. I know. Gotta find a way to go through. Well, we can't go in there. Something gonna. Uh, we gotta climb up. Something's gonna burst through the wall. We can jump, but we can't grab. And that doesn't go anywhere anyway. It's a sealed corridor. Why would you have a sealed corridor that leads to nothing? Oh, hang on. So we can't go about that way now. This doesn't open. This just goes to podcast land. Fucking transport is offline. Oh, medicine. Oh, elect electronics. Apparently, the thing. Yeah, I'm not listening to that again. I have no reflection and I must scream. I need to try that Moons of Madness again without streaming and just see if it also runs like shit. Oh. Ready for, for uh, existence to vanish above you? Oh, oh! Magically appearing shotgun, disappearing space station. Right, so the power's off. Oh, it, it is giving me the option to climb back up this time. But it's not giving me the option to walk around the ladder. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's reading a very interesting book. Like, oh, oh. oh. What I don't get is why it does this split with the UI when you don't have the UI to start with. There's enough room there to show the item. Why split the UI for no reason? 
I mean, I was given this for review purposes. I don't think I'm being overly harsh. It's frustrating the fuck out of me. Right, so I've got fire mode. So what do I do with it? This doesn't go anywhere. If it's all very... Because all I can do is start shooting at doors now. Which, the last time I tried that was when Resident Evil 2 came out and we couldn't get the, through to the, one of the rooms in the police station. We tried shooting the door with a shotgun. It generally doesn't work. Okay. So the purpose of me coming in here after turning electricity off was to get the explosive ammo. So maybe if I can get it to trigger. It says stairs as well. Uh, maybe I can get it Oh, why did it say six up in the top corner? See that? Just randomly said six. So maybe the explosive ammo works on this one door. Maybe it works on the lab door. Am I just missing something fucking fundamental here? Try this stuff. Right. Oh. No. I have to prod it with the screwdriver. No. Maybe it takes two shots. Hey, that's it. So, that means this should work with this door. Yes? You haven't missed anything, don't worry. No ammo. No ammo. The um the mix of accents in this game is amazing. Oh. I shouldn't need to um have to do that inventory thing every time I pick up ammo. Laser mode activated. Anybody there? It's still making noise. Someone please help me. Someone open the door. Please. Please. Anybody there? Yeah. Oh my god, thank you! What the fuck is happening with this ship? Uh. And his last sound before he was killed by an alien creature was... Oop. Oh! I now have a reflection! I do not move below the neck.
I'm only reflective on certain surfaces. Like that one, but not that one. What? <laughs> Inventory not working. Okay. Save game. Not working. Oh, so they're supposed to be... Ammo. No ammo. Not ammo crates. Uh. Yeah, I mean... Oh, you're bigger. Generally, you would use that kind of um, opportunity for letting someone do some exposition and then just as they're like, right, and now if we go here, we should be able to and then have them get killed instead of, oh, thank God, I... Ooh. Oh, at last, I've got my dress uniform on. You appear to have too much guts, and it's moving. Why would it be moving? Is this half moving? Yep. Oh yeah, it it does look good. Um, the the model quality is good. The animation is a bit ten years ago. <laughs> With the whole uh, facial expression movement just being a bit. And everyone's heads being like really narrow and chiselled. I'm trying to remember what game it reminds me of. Does it remind me of? Can't think. It does remind me of Vampire. Uh bloodlines um, but obviously that is a lot older laser mode activated no ammo laser mode activated physics engine not sure need the yellow shape card to open can't get down the stairs because of the goo but I could get up the stairs oh I've got monster noises again it's respawned Now goes beep when I press E. Why? Hey? Look at my arm. The blood texture has moved onto my arm. No blood on the floor. Look. Oh, it's gone now. What does beep mean? Mm. Fire mode 
activated. It now just goes beep when I press E. And I also now can't get near this door. Okay. I've lost control. It means press one for more ammo, press two for <laughs> explosive. I'm stuck. Oh, hang on. We may have crouched our way out of it. But oh, we've lost sound now. Oh, the beeping stopped at least. What the f... No ammo. I know. So all I've got is explosive rounds. I've got a crouch to go downstairs. <sighs> so unless I find ammo. What? Oh fuck. I was about to say, unless I find ammo before the next monster, I'm fucked. But unfortunately, I found the monster before. This has just put me back here now. Oh, hang on, I'm now allowed, not allowed in there again. When I go near doors, now I'm being bounced off. The only ammo I had was explosive, so... I didn't even have the option of headshot. I think so far I've had four explosive rounds and nine regular rounds. <sighs> this is the way we came before. The thing is, that respawned in that room. Crouch to go downstairs again. Yeah, I'm getting bounced away from objects now. It's really weird. Oh, and the door beeps back. It clearly thinks I'm stood at a door. So, we went that way. Did we go? We didn't go down last time, did we? Oh. Oh no, it just looks the same. Oh no, it is. This is the electricity room, but now the ladder's fucked. With no reason. Does the ladder prompt still work? No. Okay. I am now officially confused. Lost. I mean... I literally can't do anything. So the monsters respawn. But not all monsters respawn. Where are we? We're back no here ammo. with no ammo. No ammo. Fire mode 
activated. No ammo. So... Uh, oh god! I still don't have my clothes. It's put me right back here. Right. I'm going to have to pick this up again at some point. 